Hello Freshies, welcome back to the Fresh Talk. I am Kiki and I will be your anchor all month long. So our goal this month is to focus on uh, checking in on those New Year's resolutions that we set in January. We want to see how everyone's doing uh, with a particular focus on both fitness and finance. So we have an expert from each respective field here today to answer our questions, share some tips and tricks, and there will be demonstrations. <laughs> All right, so starting off with fitness, we'd like to welcome Mike Simpson. Hello. Yay! Thanks for having me. Yeah, Thanks can you tell our viewers, our freshies, a little bit about yourself and what you do? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm 25 years old, and I'm a personal trainer, restorative care therapist, and a Special Olympics powerlifting coach cool. at a gym called Active Souls Project in Kitchener. Yes. And as well, working for Gemini Models. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about Active Souls? Because it's um, really cool. Like, I want everyone yeah, to know so about it. Yeah, so it's a private facility, so it's not like your regular commercial gym. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, we house a lot of special needs kids. So yeah. we're probably the only one in Ontario, I believe, that is the main outlet for them to come and participate. Wow. Right. And what mm -hmm. kind of activities do they get to do when they're there? Um, so mainly it's powerlifting is the main. We have like group classes for them. Um, literally the other night we took them out bowling. So it's more about getting them active, but it's also like a group connected. Community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nice. and it's good for moms too. They can find have their kids come together and then they create friendships as well. Yeah. So Sounds great. like mentorship as well. Mm -hmm. Aside from yep. fitness. Yeah, yeah. And just making a lot of friends, right? Because it's hard. You can only imagine how hard it would be going through so that as the a social child. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Which is huge to them and then burning off that energy which they, especially with autism, you have a ton of yes. energy with those kids. Yeah, they yeah. need an outlet that yeah. is mm -hmm. not, you know, school-based or, because in schools they can only do so much with like certain rec mm -hmm. rooms and whatnot, yeah. but I think, and for them to allow themselves to be like, oh, I go to the gym just like all the other yeah. kids that go to my school, it's really great for them to have that outlet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I love it. It's, it's never done it before, but yeah, um, definitely something new I've been enjoying. Good. Last couple months. How long have you been there for? Uh, two months now. So okay. it's, it's pretty well, fresh. So before yeah. that, I worked at a senior center. Yeah. That was not planned, by the way. Sorry, what were you doing? Before that, I worked for five years with uh, seniors. So I did uh, recreation therapy. Wow. Yeah. So I have a little bit of mix now with seniors and kids six, six and older, really. Yeah. Yeah. And you also love dogs, so ladies, he's single. Yeah. If this isn't well to your heart, <laughs> dogs, and you love elderly dogs. dogs. Yeah. Like, come on, you're going to be unavailable by the time this airs. It's like a date. It's not the best. It's the best. It's not the Which of the fresh five gets your final rose? <laughs> uh, I think we know. Maybe it's it. Is it. <laughs> Okay, enough of me being a super embarrassing uh, stage mom. Uh, we have um, Ask the Expert, which is something we've been doing now through January and February. So we've compiled some questions from our freshies, um, particular to fitness, for Mike to answer. So this is our first question from um, our number one fan, Andy Takar. Yeah. We love yeah. him. My best friend. Aisha's best <laughs> friend and the number one freshie. Yep. Uh, his question for you, Mike, is how often should the average person be exercising? Okay, mm. that's, that's a fairly asked question. Um, I bet. That ties into a lot of things too. Sorry if I ramble a bit, but um, that's okay. It ties in with people ask how many times should I work out, how many sets, what exercises, what should mm -hmm. my plan be, what should I be eating, and it's just all this like confusion gets thrown in it. Yeah. But really, with fitness, it's a super simple equation. Um, it's just basically expeeding, like getting rid of more calories than you're taking in, right. so you can stay in that healthy range. Um, as for the perfect plan, there really isn't one. Mm -hmm. Um, it's all based on the individual. Yeah. Um, so personally for me, I, I love weight training. It's, it's something I enjoy doing. I do it uh, five to six days a week. Impressive. Um, but yeah. it's because I enjoy it and I want to show up and do it, yes. right? Yeah. I've been yes. doing that consistently for seven years now. Right. So that's where I've seen my success come. Yep. So for these people who maybe don't like going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, when Andy says average, like let's yeah, assume so, it's, yeah, like, you know. But it doesn't have to be the gym. Fair enough. Right. So okay, it can be yeah. going for a walk with your dog, going right. on a hike, yep. um, just playing things. sports, um, mm -hmm. really anything like that that you can be consistent with. Right. Even just a couple times a week, just get moving, get active. Mm -hmm. 
you don't always have to, everyone just thinks I think of the bodybuilding. Yeah. You see the yeah, magazines, like people yeah, pumped too. up with muscle, like that's not really all it is. Yeah. yeah. So like um, walking your dog would be sufficient? Yeah, just getting up, get moving. Um, especially people who sit a lot at a desk. Yeah. You're just, you're just yeah. sitting all day, right? You just want to get up and just move. Yeah. Right. Um, and especially in the summer, like swimming and playing tennis, basketball, like I guess that's kind of like really. the seasonal eating we've talked about mm -hmm. with yeah. previous yeah. experts. Mm -hmm. Seasonal. Yeah. Just do Exercise. whatever the season caters to, like yeah. getting outside, obviously, mm -hmm. when the when the weather is nice. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, for achieving your goals for body composition wise, it's all about what can you do for the exercise that actually makes you happy. Like, what do you want to yeah. get up and do? Something you're kind of like yeah. passionate about and like you enjoy doing. So when those go hand in hand, like the dedication mm -hmm. and that is something you enjoy, it mm -hmm. just becomes really simple. If you can maintain that throughout your whole life, yeah. then yeah. You're, you're pretty much set. Okay. So consistency. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause yeah. if you're going to go to the gym, work out really hard for one week and then take the rest of the month off, it's like, oh, that was the worst thing ever. Yeah. yeah. You're just coming forward and then you're going way back and then yeah. all of a sudden you were, you just don't want to go. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Robin's not but, familiar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm laughing. <laughs> purely because I love hot yoga yeah. and, and that's amazing to do. A yeah. friend that came with me and I recommended like you don't eat at least an hour before you go because it's really hot in there you can yeah. feel sick. Okay. <laughs> drink tons of fluids before you come, drink while you're there and then rehydrate with electrolytes or lemon mm -hmm. in your water or coconut water after. They didn't listen to any of it. Oh, the no. next day they oh, no. felt like garbage, mm -hmm. had this killer yeah. headache, tried to take Advil to fix it. But, mm. And yeah. then they hate it. They're like, never so again will I go experience. back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's yeah, true. You have to be informed for sure. There's a lot of information out there. I think it's it's really important to be mm -hmm. informed before trying a new activity. Exactly. And I like what you said about trying different activities as well because yes. yeah. there's so many people who do the same activity for their physical activity every day. Mm -hmm. And not to hate on spin, I love spin, but there's people who just do spin mm -hmm. and then they, they're going and they're waking up and they're waking up from a fetal position and then they're going to spin and they're sitting oh, down on the bike yeah. and then they're going to their office and they're sitting down on their desk and then they're going home and they're sitting down on the couch yeah and it's a lot of like just in the same plane yeah, yeah. and I think that what you said was a, such a valid point of, of changing up your activity and, and finding ways to incorporate different mm -hmm. activities so that you're moving in different planes right yep. which yeah. is so much better for your body and yeah. some people think that you have to go to the gym in order to be fit or yeah, in order to exactly. lose weight or whatever, yeah. but there's so many different ways yeah. to achieve that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The yeah. gym. It has become this like well, all it's so the overwhelming gym. Yeah. for some so people. True. Now yeah. because it's, yeah. it's become yeah. that, it's a really overwhelming place for some people to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah even myself starting, I started when I was like 17 at the gym. Yeah. And I felt nervous going in there. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. I couldn't lift any weights. I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. um, well, why don't you, like, share how, where you started, like, how you started? Because before 17, mm -hmm. like, you were not, you would say, like, very physically fit and active. Yeah, so I played, like, hockey and softball my whole life. So right. I always did, like, kind of dry land training, all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. with the team. Yeah. But I never really touched any weights. Okay. And then, so I had, I was athletic. I did a lot of cardio. I was good at running and stuff like that. Yeah. Now I hate running. I did <laughs> I so much. They said now. the same plane all yes. the time. Yeah, all exactly. I did was skating camps and running and driving. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah, that's so a lot now of it's like, I don't really like, like I hate running. Yeah. And you can see you don't need to do running just to get like in good yeah. shape. Yeah. You can yeah. do a mix of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. After sports, I kind of, I didn't have anything else to like, um, have my goals go towards. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, and I was I always kind of self-conscious yeah. of what I looked like. And it was like an insecurity thing. Yeah. Because I was really, really skinny growing up. So. Interesting. Um, I found the gym and then like I went, I had two brothers to go with too, which helped a lot. Yeah. Right. Having cool. people yes. with you is huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so through that, I just kind of learned on my own and with my brothers how to weight train and then kind of got hooked on it. And it was like a great feeling when you left. And it's like, this yeah. is the kind of thing I love to do. Yeah. Just the feeling of it. I like that perspective too for males, especially like saying you mm -hmm. felt a little bit smaller, like yeah, you couldn't build muscle empowered. or put on yeah. weight. Yeah. I feel like a lot of guys have that hanging over their mm -hmm. head. Yeah. It's huge, yeah. You know, and boys tend to develop and grow a little bit slower, like a little bit later down the road. Yeah. So I think we have to remember that male pressure that you yeah. guys feel mm -hmm. in that regard, yeah, whereas the, the thing, female yeah. is usually a certain shape and size mm -hmm. and number. Yeah. Um, whereas the guys, I think there's this pressure to like be big and feel big and be present. Yeah. 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 They have a hard time admitting that they, they need to gain yeah. muscle. And, and also at a lot of gyms, there's female sections that are just for females, but then there's the co-ed, but there's no sections that are specifically That's very, for males, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Which is, which is interesting it's interesting. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. usually weight rooms are pretty intimidating because it's all guys. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But it's, yeah. it's getting better now that, it is um, with yeah. lots of stuff on social media, like women are doing more women weight training. 
training. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's, it's sure. more, they feel like it's more accepted. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. They feel like they're more confident to go do it, which is yeah. nice to see. Yeah. yeah. Really nice to see. Okay, let's go to another question. Yes, let's. Um, this one is from Ray Cat. We love Ray Cat. She's super cute. I was actually checking out her feed today. Um, I love her question as well. She says, Mike, well, she doesn't say Mike, but I'm going to say Mike. <laughs> I cannot get Mike. a booty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Girl cannot get a booty. No matter how many squats, deadlifts, and lunges I do, do you have any other tips to help focus on this area? So developing the booty. Okay. And it's just not really. Feel free to yeah. demonstrate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got my squat pants on. Pour me a glass of wine. Okay, so before I go into this, it's not really just with like with any muscle group, right? I think yes. anybody can run into plateaus. Like they want to start. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I, like with yeah. me, I want I want my chest to be bigger. Like everyone yeah. has their goal; yeah. they want to be bigger. Um, plateaus always happen. Yeah. Um, it's just sometimes it's harder for people to grow certain body parts. Yep. Yeah. Um, which is it's just totally based on genetics and. You can kind of work around that. Interesting. Um, as far as the booty, <laughs> um, first of all, it's amazing. If you're doing squats and deadlifts, that's like my go-to right, right there. Yeah. Like that's it. as soon as I, I teach all my clients those two like right away. Yep. Because mm -hmm. they're such great compound movements that, yes, you're working your legs a lot, but it's working your whole body as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, it's also working on increasing your bone density, which mm -hmm. as you age is something huge you want to yes. want to work on for posture. Mm -hmm. and Especially for women though. Yes. 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 Dr. Kristen that was telling us about remember. that. We were talking always, specifically yeah. about women bone yeah. health. Yeah. 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 So yeah. super important. I think yeah. we're like three times as more likely to develop osteoporosis. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's hormonal as well, but yeah, yeah that's preventative yeah. care, right? And then going back to like the weight training, it's good that women are lifting heavier because yeah. you're not gonna they always the fear is always oh we're gonna get bulky from it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you yeah. don't have really testosterone like men do to really put on that size. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So by lifting heavier like that it's definitely going to make those muscle groups grow bigger mm -hmm. as well as get that bone density and just to build it up. So when you do get older and that's, you start to hunch forward a bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I worked in, I worked in a senior home. Yeah. I see it. So yeah, I, I saw right. a lot of that. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just great for posture. So okay. I'm so curious. Tell us a bit more about that. You called yourself a restorative care therapist, yep. I believe. Yeah. yeah so yeah, um, so restorative care was a program we started in the seniors home. It was okay. kind of like a demo. We started and it's going across other yeah. um, retirement homes. But it's basically to, um, it's written the word like restore. So basically yeah. keep their functioning. Um, so make sure that seniors aren't going in a downhill spiral. Yeah. It's keeping their mobility, keeping their um, day to day life independence. So right. anything just from yeah. standing up from a chair to, you know, anything. The that. independence. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's so key. Fall I, prevention yeah. is huge. Yep, too. fall prevention. Yeah. And a lot of two grandparents want to hold their grandkids. Yeah. So. They do, yeah, they just want to do those basic things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I keep, think. keep their life, keep them happy. And then, because it's not nice when all of a sudden your whole life you've been on the go and then you're yeah. in a wheelchair yeah. or yep. you need help walking and some, someone's going to do stuff for you. So yeah. Yeah. It's scary it all that it's happening that. earlier and earlier mm -hmm. now. And even is. just postural, I noticed you kind of yeah. snicker. We're all like, like we're yeah. all... <laughs> yeah, but yeah. literally always yeah. like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Does stretching play a role in the health of your body as you age mm -hmm. as well? Huge, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and the second portion is when we go through the exercises, it won't be just exercise, it's corrective stretching as well. They go hand in hand, they're really yeah, big. Sense. Great. Did you notice results? Like, were mm -hmm. they actually making changes and they were happy and they felt more confident and independent? Yeah, yeah they're, Good. yeah, we had even like a little graduation ceremony. They oh! went through it. So it's like they're going through Come school on! again. And getting <laughs> I love it. Okay, we'll get, we'll get back to the, the booty yeah, thing though. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of went off course. Yeah, there. sorry. Okay, so the deadlifts and squats are great. They're important, but she's Amazing. saying it's yeah. not working for her. So what mm -hmm. does she still need to do beyond that? Donuts. So really, what's that? <laughs> donuts. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it goes into it. Yes. Calories is big. Yeah. Um, you can do, like I said, the perfect plan. Yes. Yeah. But if you're not fueling your body with those calories and even the protein yeah. that your body needs to um, recover and grow from mm -hmm. the next training session, yeah, um, you're just you're gonna plateau. You're not gonna go anywhere. Right. Yeah. So Especially maybe the glutes maybe are such. Plateauing. Yeah, yeah. it's such a big muscle. It needs a lot of nutrients to grow. Yeah. Okay. And then as well with plateauing, you gotta continuously challenge yourself. Right. So say if you're doing squats and you're doing the same weight, same reps, yeah. month yeah. after month. Yeah. Um, you're not gonna go anywhere. So mm -hmm. just okay. like I follow a program like it's linear progression. So yeah. adding even like five pounds a week. 
just to differentiate it a little bit. Because now in your body's your body's realizing, oh, this is getting heavy. Right. Yeah. I gotta get stronger because next time it knows. Yeah. Something heavier is gonna be put on it, right? It's, right. it's gotta okay. be ready. Okay, yeah. so we need to check in on the diet to make sure that's actually going hand in hand mm -hmm. with, yeah. with the workout. Don't under eat. Get the eat, eat what you can. Eat the donuts. Girl. Yeah. Get the calories and get the donut. protein in. The protein donuts. Yeah. Yeah. The don't, protein donuts. Don't deprive yourself just to be skinny. You want that nice healthy yes. look, right? Yeah. Super important. Yeah. Okay. This question is uh, on behalf of the Fresh Five. Okay. Um, it's long, so bear with me. Okay. What type of workouts would you suggest for achieving different goals? That's very broad, so I'll mm -hmm. let you answer that however you please. Okay. Um, for example, if someone was looking for increased flexibility and strength, and or their goal was you know immediately to drop some weight, um, or they needed to like get their cholesterol in check, mm -hmm. how would you direct or coach someone to deal with a specific goal? I think it kind of refers back to our first question, um, just using all the avenues available, like mm -hmm. yoga, mm -hmm. just every, use everything available you can to you. try okay. new things. Don't get stuck in the same plane again. Okay, let's let's focus on weight loss. Okay. Because it's you know still the new mm -hmm. year ish, yep. and I think that's a big one for people. Maybe they're mm -hmm. finally ready to to tackle that, so mm -hmm. to speak. So if you had a client that said, you know, Mike, I'm really you know worried about my health and I want to lose twenty five you know twenty five pounds, mm -hmm. how would you get them going? Um, start off small. Do not hop into it like doing okay. too much too fast. If you have to, start once a week. Uh, with a lot of clients like that, since I'm with them for an hour, I do a lot of circuit training. Mm -hmm. So back to back to back exercises, okay. get their heart rate up, get them breathing, okay. and just get them sweating. Okay. That's so really baby all. steps. Just, yeah, yeah, baby steps. And then after that, slowly work your way up, do longer sessions with them, do it more times a week, mm -hmm. more okay. consistency. Awesome. And then I talk a lot about, about weekly volume. So that's getting more sets and uh, reps of exercises. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. Baby steps, for so sure. So, donuts. Baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Those are the takeaways from yeah. our, our chat with Mike. Um, thank you so much for answering you're those welcome. questions. You. You've uh, talked the talk. I hope you're ready to walk we'll the see, walk we'll see. <laughs> with some demonstrations. So, stay tuned for those. <laughs>so basically with technic the main thing you get it from is if you're at a desk or driving you're just it's like you're, everything's coming yeah. forward yeah. and a lot of pressure comes in the chest gets really tight okay. the traps get really tight and that just turns into a lot of neck pain okay. so what do you want to focus on is 